Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies, and I'm going to show you how you can get a whole bunch of elite soldiers in uh, the Phantom Pain here. And this is a good way to farm them here in episode 16, Trader's Caravan. Now, pay uh, attention here to the three points I'm going to mark on the map. Now, the first one is going to be where we need to go to really start and initiate this mission. And that's down at the airport. And then we're going to go up to the outpost just north of there, and then the village uh, further north of there even. Now, this game is going to uh, require you to upgrade a lot of your mother base, all your different platforms, all in increase the staff by extracting different soldiers. So this method is going to be uh, exceptionally helpful in getting higher ranked soldiers. Now, I'll talk more about that uh, momentarily. But first, let's go ahead and just kind of like spell out how this whole process works. Now in this mission, when you get to this uh, that truck, you need to extract it. So first and foremost, make sure you do not accidentally destroy that truck or extract it. You definitely don't want to extract it at this point. Uh, in fact, that'll just end the mission. So what I'm gonna do is farm all the soldiers and then go and extract it once I'm done. Now you have four skulls and what happens when they appear is they're gonna uh, emit a mist in the entire hot zone area which includes the air for uh, air base here as well as outposts in the village north of here now once you've destroyed and killed these guys and in fact i'm extracting them here but once you've destroyed them all of the soldiers in the uh, hot zone are going to be completely stunned for five minutes that is going to enable me to run around uh, and freely extract any soldier i want so I'm going to go and inspect each one of them using my uh, binoculars and extract any that are going to be, at this point, A+, plus or A++. Plus plus. Now I could get lucky and get an s rank soldier, but you're not going to get the higher rank soldier until your base uh, is higher level. So if you're lower level than me, and everything in my platforms I think are all uh, just around low 40s, uh, pretty much everything I can get is A to A++, uh, plus, A plus to A++. Plus plus. Now once I uh, level up even higher, it's going to enable me to even get s rank soldiers occasionally, and even those are still going to be uh, rare. Now they're now all the enemies are completely stunned, and again they will be for 5 minutes, so I'm going to quickly run around and inspect each of these guys, any of them that are A plus uh, rated or better in any, either of the fields, I'm going to uh, extract with my Fulton device. Now there's going to be a couple here in the airbase that I'm just going to leave behind just because it would take too much time to go out of my way to, to go get them. Because again, you only have five minutes and there's a lot of people you can extract north of here. So again, if you looked at the, the map I showed you in the beginning with the, the markers I placed, that's where you want to go. So I'm running through here, and again, I'm just making sure I inspect these guys, see if any of them are A plus or higher. And I believe almost every single one in here for me is A plus or higher. We're going to have another one up over here, and this is going to be the last one, and then I'm going to head north. Again, the level of, of uh, the staff that you can extract is going to increase as you uh, increase the effectiveness of your mother base. So if you are lower level, in fact, when you're first here, I think the highest uh, rated uh, guy you're going to find is like a B rating. So again, just keep, uh, you can farm here and get as many soldiers as you want. Uh, but just uh, know that the uh, quality of your extraction is going to increase as you progress further uh, in your development. So the strategy I would use really from the beginning of the game is build out all your platforms, get four out of four out of each of them, and then keep extracting every soldier you can. Just completely fill it up. Uh, once you have everything filled up, then you want to start worrying about getting higher quality uh, staff members in each of the different uh, uh, fields. So once I, I filled them all up, I went here and got all the A plus or better guys. And then you don't have to worry about uh, uh, dismissing anyone. These guys will automatically replace the lowest level guy in each of the different facilities. Uh, and those guys will then go into the waiting room and you can dismiss them at that point if you like. So again, from the airbase, I went to the first outpost north. And just north of there, uh, where I'm located now, is a really large village. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of people here. Uh, as you can see, I'm just bypassing the ones that aren't going to be A plus rated or better in uh, any of the fields. And once you get to around level 40 uh, with your uh, platforms and uh, you've got all your, your people, all the staff completely maxed out, you'll realize you kind of hit with what I call a soft cap. 
and it's not going to really level up quickly unless you go and get better people. So that's what I'm doing here. Again, I can come back in here once I get a few more levels, and then, then I can get a, a few more S rank. Again, the S uh, rated ones are going to be a little bit uh, still uh, somewhat rare, but if you get A++, uh, you're, you're going to be able to easily get uh, uh, exceptionally high levels at Mother Base. So we got another couple here now. I'm going to start running out of actual uh, uh, balloons here momentarily, so I'm going to have to call in a resupply. Now I've done this run uh, probably about five or six times. Uh, I get anywhere between 15 uh, valuable uh, staff members to about 25. I think I get a, a little lucky on this one with a higher number of A++ uh, staff members, but uh, so I mean it's you're, again you're kind of up against a random number generator unfortunately. But this is going to be a good way to replace all those B, C, D, and E rated uh, staff with higher quality uh, staff members. Again, that is what's going to allow you to uh, level up each of the different facilities at Mother Base. And then ultimately uh, you're going to have a, a better security team as well. Uh, you can defend better in an FOB. So definitely uh, you're going to want to, if you want to really kind of take part in all that, uh, this is really kind of one of the better ways to do it. And as you see, this guy's getting up here, so five minutes is up. So what I'm going to do here is I can go and, you know, manually take out the guys uh, using my, uh, uh, my silent uh, tranquilizer pistol here. Uh, but ultimately go back to the air base. Uh, go extract that truck, uh, finish the mission off, and you can see here, I'm going to just let you see all the different uh, staff members I have acquired. Uh, do note that they will go to the brig first before they uh, are usable, and you can place them in each of your uh, different facilities. But that's it. Uh, just go ahead and restart the mission as often as you want. Probably going to take you a total of 10 to 15 minutes for each run, uh, but you are going to get a good quality batch of soldiers. But once again, it is going to be determined by your current uh, level of your mother base. Uh, if you're lower level, you're not going to get the, the A++. You're certainly not going to get the S or S++ uh, staff either. So just keep playing, fill up mother base, keep leveling it all up, and keep trying to uh, recycle the old worthless soldiers out for newer and better staff. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. But that's it. Analysis. Head in, restart the mission for each run. Uh, but once again, a level of your mother base. I, uh,